It's Sunday, October 24, 2021, and we are back at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's like a magnet for me to be in that amazing church. This is the most important month in Christianity. That is where Jesus um, resurrected. Before that, he was crucified, the Golgotha, the Calvary. But for the Christians, this is the most important part of, uh, uh, of uh, Christianity. Actually, for 90% of the Christians, some actually believe that Jesus was buried in a different place. It's called the Garden Tomb, and I do have some videos of it. You can go into my YouTube account and uh, watch it. Tombstone. You asked me to bless the Jerusalem cross in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and I will do that. And for me, Sunday, it's a beautiful place to, to do that because of all the services and the masses. Uh, although the atmosphere is such an amazing atmosphere, their church, not like um, other churches that you know, belongs to everyone. Then there are Catholic here, Greek Orthodox, Armenian, Copts, ooh, the trolley. All right, it stopped. Uh, there are so many chapels that surrounded that place. This is Abraham Chapel, belongs to the Greek Orthodox. Uh, they believe that that tree uh, is where Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. And this is Armenian Chapel of John. And to the left, a wonderful chapel of the Ethiopians. And this is the main entrance. But the other side, there are more chapels. And although I'm not praying here and I'm not so sure that I'm welcome with a the camera there. Then let me go into it and uh, I will be quiet. Then you can pray with the Greek Orthodox. There are three chapels there, dedicated to so many beautiful stories. Uh, but here you can see the, one of the groups that entered to Israel. Um, there are 2,000 people that enter to Israel every day, and 2,000 people live in Israel, only groups, and they're checking it to see if everything is okay. Um, and then, if not, if everything will be okay, and please pray that everything will be okay, then it means that at November 1st, tourists will be able to go in, but so many uh, uh, problems with, you know, vaccination and stuff, then watch my Facebook account, and you will, um, you will be able to see uh, more information about it, to get more information about it. This is the tomb of Jesus. I didn't start the tour correctly, but 
um, the idea of, of ceremonies makes me happy and this is the Greek Orthodox ceremony the Divine Liturgy of Sunday We will reach the tomb later on, but let me see if I can see if I can show you another liturgy, another service, and that's before we actually end uh, beginning the tour. Nothing, you know, we can understand that that tour is different than any other tours. The Coptic uh, on the way to prepare there. Uh, Liturgy, but I don't want to talk. But this is the ceramic church. I will be quiet, and it's at Joseph of Arimathea tomb. We'll talk about it later on. Aramite. And if not talking about the Ceramic Church, and you can hear the Greek Orthodox, it's amazing, isn't it? Then you can see that the Armenians are getting ready for their liturgy. It's going to be on top of the second floor. Actually, I can hear them now singing to chanting. Please say we pray that the tourists will come are not working from um, February 2020. And look at the cross that now entered into the church. He bought a huge star, uh, cross made of olive wood and bless it on the place that Jesus was the pure for the body of Jesus and before we begin I want you to see what we are doing we saw the tomb let's start from the beginning Jesus was crucified on a hill that called Golgotha, Calvary, Skull in Hebrew and in Aramaic. We don't know where, what's the meaning of that name. Because of that, we have so many couple, uh, options. Um, the first one, so many people died here that I'm sure that he found a bit of bonds and skull in that area. Secondly, 
maybe it looks like the shape of the hill was the shape of a skull. Um, except of the Bible, in the New Testament, there's no mention of that place in the Romans and the Jewish description. He was crucified on Friday and around 12 and 3 o'clock he died and then they purified his body just like they do it to every Jew until today and after that they will wrap him with shrouds and they will bury him in a cave. The cave actually was belonged to Joseph of Hermitia who gave Jesus his own tomb. Jesus couldn't have a uh, um, tomb of a rich man then. And he was, he was, he had, I mean, the Jews must be buried the same day. And in that case, Joseph of Hermitia, you can see him with a white beard. And Nagdimas gave Jesus his own tomb. And, and that no one used before. And the tomb that you saw with the Cyrannic church, the chapel that there are tombs there, um, it might be the tomb of Joseph of Ramitia who gave Jesus his own tomb. Then the tomb was supposed to be like that. And there are few tombs like that in the church. In that church. Um, it shows you that it used to be a, cruise, um, a burial site at the time of uh, Jesus. And let me put trust him. Let me put your um, cross on the place that the Baptist, the uh, purified the body of Jesus. And it's full with oil. I'm sure that you can actually see that it's shining. And now that cross, let's say I bought it in ninety dollars. It's now it's priceless. First of all, it's made of um, olive wood. Secondly, there's dirt from Jerusalem from the Holy City of Jerusalem and and uh, now it's priceless but it's only the beginning you see some lamps from of the Armenian Greek Orthodox um, Catholic I think Coptic as well then let's climb up to the hill which is not a big hill but let's face it Mount of Olives is not a big amount as well uh, nothing is big in Israel. Um, that part belongs to the Catholic. The other part belongs to the Greek Orthodox. Let's climb up. That church today is a little bit busy because of Sunday. All the, a lot of the Israelis Christians are here. What you hear now is all the Armenians chanting. Such an amazing thing, isn't it? Then, this is the Golgotha, the Calvary. Um, you can see here two main chapels. This is the first one. This is the Catholic chapel. That is the second chapel. The Greek Orthodox chapel. In the Catholic part, there are a few things to talk about. It's part of the Via Dolorosa. Via Dolorosa is the way of the suffering, the way that Jesus walked with his cross on top of him to the Golgotha. Can you hear the chanting? Amazing! Here, in the chapel of the Franks, they strip him from his clothes. Here, they nail him to the cross. 
is a beautiful mosaic wall from the 19th century. That's mainly because the church was burned down in the um, in 1808. But beside the new mosaic wall, look at Jesus that ascending in heaven. This is the only mosaic that left from the Crusader time in the church. Did it them? To the left, you can see the statue of Mary. Mary was at the temple, at the presentation of the temple, actually the whole family been there and they came to sacrifice two birds that shows us that we're talking about a poor family. And, um, and the presentation of the temple, that's what you're doing when you do have the firstborn son. Mary was the happiest mother ever. But then Saint Simon, priest from the temple, told her that a son will die in front of her eyes. Hmm. It will be like a spear entering your heart. Actually, that's what you can see now. This is the only part of the Golgotha that you can find in the Catholic area. And let's bless the cross here. It's like a beautiful is the mosaic floor. Look at the face of Jesus and Mary, my beloved Mary, anointing the body of Jesus. She knew already that he will die. And the mom, mother, can you imagine that? Any other mother? When she actually looks at the body of her son, Actually, she saw him suffering. She knew that those are the last hours of him, and those are not very nice hours. Then, in that case, let me go to the Greek Orthodox side, which they have an amazing stories on top of it, on top of that, at the ceiling, all about the Holy Week. This is the crucifixion place. To the right of Jesus, you can see John. To the left, the mother. While Jesus was on the cross, he asked Mary, he asked John to take care of his mother. You can see the Golgotha, two sides, and the priest is now touching the exact spot of the crucifixion. On top of Jesus, you can see there are three languages, four letters, and three languages. Jesus from, Jesus from Nazareth, King of the Jews. This is a sit list. King Herod was already a king. The Romans, they are the only one who can crown someone as a king, and they didn't crown Jesus. Then the priest is here. All right, he disappeared. Then I can actually take a video from close apart, and you can see the Golgotha. And there. And you can even see the creek. Remember, at three o'clock, the earth shake. Because of coronavirus, he's cleaning now the place of the crucifixion. You can see the Armenian chanting there. They call it the second Golgotha. And through those small arches, you can see 
the brick ornament position. We are leaving the Golgotha through the Greek Orthodox side. But before that, look at a beautiful view. You can see the place that they purify the body of Jesus. And the way to the tomb, we already announced that. Armenian chapel, Greek Orthodox chapel, the Catholic Bible. אני מנסה לעשות, למכור צלבים בדרך האינטרנט, אבל לא הצלחה בינתיים. בינתיים אין לי כלום. יש כבר קבוצות ראיתי. That was one of the salesmen, and he asked me, are you working? And I said, certainly no. While you're listening to the Greek old, uh, so the Armenians, we will continue to the tomb, which we believe that it looks like that. go to the tomb with the camera and the cross. I mean, with the cross, yes, with the camera, no. But what are going to do? I'm going to bless it here. And then, after I will finish uh, that video, I will, um, I will bless, the, I will enter with the camera. I'm with, sorry. I will enter with the cross to the tomb, but without a camera. You can still hear the Armenians. I love their chanting. Mm. No, no, let me... Let me cross the, the tomb, but I want you to see that there are two chapels there. The first one is that, you can see the light of the candle, and that's where the angels took care that no one will steal the body of Christ. There it is, you can see the candle. The second chapel is the tomb itself. Of course he's not there because on Sunday he was wrecked. Then, you can see the two chapels now a big monk entering into it although everyone can pray there it belongs to the Greek Orthodox see the first chapel of the angels and the other one is the tomb itself I'm gonna be there later on mm. Here it is. see where the girls are We expected to see a tomb, uh, a cave, but it's always but. That place has been destroyed so many times by the Romans, by the Persian, uh, by the Muslims. Uh, it has been destroyed by the Christian itself in 1808 when the church uh, was burned down and the dump collapsed and destroyed. Then the structure, the antiqua, is new. Um, 19th century, renovated it, renovated a few years ago, and it looks like so new. But the site is the site. 
Remember, we've been at the tomb of Joseph of Ramatia there. We saw the Syrianic church praying there. Then the other tombs from Jesus' time in that church. Let's continue. We reach a Catholic place. And this is a very important place. This is where Mary Magdalene, she was standing here, met Jesus. And that was, that happened on Sunday, today, today, right now, when she came to the tomb and he wasn't there. Did you see my Lord? Did you see my Lord? She said. And she met a gardener who said, I am Jesus, but don't touch me yet. I'm not pure. I didn't reach my father yet. Then this is the chapel of Mary and Jesus. And later on, you will hear the Catholic Mass. That's in about a few hours. We are now reaching the ambulatorium. Uh, for so many years, the Muslims didn't let us, uh, let the Christian pray. Then they used to pray here around it then. And we call it the little Via Dolorosa. Then one of the places is the prison of Christ. There are a few prisons on the way, but that one is actually a logical story. I mean, uh, he came to the Golgotha. He wasn't crucified immediately. There's a line. Remember, he was crucified with others. Then in that case, they had to put him somewhere in the prison. According to the Greek Orthodox, this is the place and they are just renovated it. And you can see how it used to be looked like. Oh, you asked me what is Jerusalem cross. This is the main cross of that city. The idea is that Jerusalem is the middle center and the rest is less important for Gospels. Um, here it's been a fire. The idea that Jerusalem, the Jesus, is the center. Then they used to put his legs there, just like that. They used to tie his hands and he was waiting for the crucifixion. Enter and be quiet, people are praying there. Look at Jerusalem in heaven, 12 gates, and the symbol of the Greek Orthodox Empire the eagle with two heads. I love the smell. Let's go to the lowest place of the church. The Golgotha is right there. This is the lower part of it. But we are heading to the lowest part of the church. Mm, the smell is amazing. On the way, you will see some graffitis of crosses, um, mostly from the Crusader times and up. Mm. 
we reach St. Helen Chapel. Helen, the mother of Constantine, came to here at 335 three, AD, and um, from that day the church is open to the public. This is one of the first churches in the world, but it's been destroyed so many times. And if we are talking about destruction, at the 1915, the Ottomans, the Turkish of the day, butcher, murder, 1.5 Armenian, um, stole their land as well. Then in that case here, you can see nine cities that have been destroyed by them, and one of them is uh, the, the month of Ararat, which is now in the hands of the Turkish. Sadly, not all, the na all of the nations, like Israel, uh, accepted that, mainly because they are afraid from the Turkish. I'm happy that America is already accepted that idea. I know that France and Germany did it lately. And if you want to know more about it, just go into the Armenian site and just write the genocide of the Armenians. 1915. But it's not the end. We are reaching the lower part of the church. And if we're talking about lower part of the church, this is the most historical part of the church. And at the first and, cent first and second temple, it used to be a quarry. The city of Jerusalem, part of the city, and the temple was built. With that. And later on it was served as a water system. You can see the plaster that covered the walls. And that is where the bucket holds. But we reached that place because at the um, 4th century, when St. Ellen came, she found three crosses right where the nun is praying. Then, in that case, one of them was the um, cross of Jesus, the true cross. I don't want to disturb the nun, then I will bless it right here. And if you want to know how should you bless, should I bless your cross too? And it can be more than a cross, different kind of crosses, um, different kind of items. Just go to the description and look at uh, Buy Me Coffee link and you will get all the information. And Torstone, this is your day. Torstone Meyer, totally your day. Beautiful day. I will ship it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, and you will get it. Now let's climb up. Oh, look at those crosses. Graffiti from ancient time. We just came from there and we're heading to the entrance, which is the exit. But before that, there are a few things to see. Until then, um, if you want to talk to me, ask me questions, don't hesitate on doing it. Do that. I will try to answer it and uh, you can do that via my professional Instagram or Facebook, you can find it in the description, or you can do it via uh, WhatsApp, oh, YouTube, sorry, that video.
Greek Orthodox Catholic one, but could still hear the Armenians. We are beneath the Gogta. I mean the crucifixion place. The Gogta is here. You see the creek of it, and according to tradition, according to the Bible, sorry, the earth shake on three o'clock. It was dark, and so many people resurrect from the dead. According to the Greek Orthodox, one of them was the first man ever, Abraham, um, Adam. Now, don't, yes, I know that the smart of you will say, yeah. How did he know how they can find, could find the tomb of Adam after the flood? Then according to the Greek Orthodox answer, they've been buried in heaven and after the flood, he was buried here. That question to everything, except of trying to say, oh, come on, I don't like those stories. Try to accept that people believe in something and respect their belief, which is not less important for me. Um, I've always been asked, who am I? And this is not important. This question is who you are and who you want. What do you want to do in your life? I'm just a messenger. I look at that. The Greek Orthodox are, as I believe, a living or the Armenian. Let's see. Greek Orthodox. They are living in the church. If you like that video, I forgot to answer to ask you, did you already subscribe my channel? Uh, I did more than 19,000 videos. Please do that. I'm already rich, 95,000 subscribers. My daughter is laughing at me because she believes that I am too old to be a YouTuber and, um, and uh, show her that I'm not. Subscribe my channel, please. Thank you very much. And see you in my next video.